Every time you touch your phone, you are likely touching glass made by Corning, which makes some of the toughest glass in the world. Corning has been making glass for smartphones for years, starting with the first iPhone in 2007. Just last year, Apple invested $200 million in the company's R&D branch. Corning just released its latest product, Gorilla Glass 6. Gorilla Glass 6 not only survives higher drop heights than Gorilla Glass 5, but also survives repeated drops. We did a recent survey, and people are dropping their phones roughly seven times a year. And the majority of these drops are occurring at one meter. So in our lab test, we dropped Gorilla Glass 6 on a test vehicle repeatedly, and it survived up to 15 times, which was twice the survival rate of Gorilla Glass 5. And when we look at competing glasses, most of them broke after the first drop. Like past iterations, the development of Gorilla Glass 6 was a trial and error process. When we start designing new glasses, we literally start with thousands of compositions. And our glass technologists will use computer simulation, computer modeling to narrow those thousands of compositions down to, say, a few dozen. Then we'll do what are called crucible melts, where we'll actually melt the glass in small crucibles and test for properties. From that, we'll down to select to maybe two to three to four candidate glasses and do actual melting trials. Corning also spends a lot of time trying to break the unbreakable glass. That's where the reliability lab comes in. Our mission is basically to make each generation of grill glass better than the prior generation. Basically what we do is we test thousands of pieces of grill glass every year. We do drop testing, we do ball testing, we do bend testing. We're basically trying to understand why the glass fails and then understand what attributes we can innovate around to make the glass even better next generation. After the glass has gone through all the various forms of abuses, Corning's engineers examine the fractures under a microscope to determine why the glass broke and how those breaks can be prevented in the future. Corning has said Gorilla Glass has been installed on 6 billion devices worldwide since its debut in 2007. And there's been no other time in human history where more people have carried the same device on their person at the same time, not even eyeglasses. Corning says that if smartphones of today were made with the same thickness as, say, the original iPhone, Gorilla Glass 6 would make them virtually unbreakable. But phone makers have opted to make the phones thinner and lighter, therefore also more fragile, which is part of the reason why this still happens. Gorilla Glass 6 will be on new devices by the end of this year. Glass is more important than ever. It's not only on the front of the device, it's now on the back of the device. It can be used as a design element on the back, and it enables wireless charging and higher data rates like 5G. So glass is 100% the future of the smartphone industry.